Je suis très content uh, de rester ici avec Montréal. So uh, I'm very happy to come back to Montreal, obviously. Um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm working. Uh, and, and in all honesty, it's, it was one of the things that uh, over the course of the negotiations, um, it was always one of the discussion points that came from my side is that, uh, you know, if, if it was something that I was going to stick around for a longer time, that, um, you know, French lessons and tutors and stuff like that uh, were things that I wanted help with for sure. Uh, you know, I spoke about it at the end of the uh, the season there about never really having the opportunity to to know where my future was going to be for an extended period of time, um, and now I do. So uh, it's important to me and to my family that uh, not only myself but my wife we 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 really embrace the language, and uh, it's certainly time to, um, and it'll also help my daughter with her school. So uh, all these things together, and uh, we're excited about it. How does it feel to finally have some sort of a security? We're talking about it at the, the year end uh, meeting. I think you never had more than one year. It was always options. Basically, always, yeah. And now it's three years firm. How does it feel to get that? Yeah, it's, it feels great. You know, is is really the the main thing that I was searching for. And um, you know, I th I think that I've shown in my time here that uh, I've been committed to the club and, and to the city and the community and. Um, you know, the club is, is rewarded that uh, with faith in me and confidence in me, and I'm um, excited to, to continue on this way. You were on top of most of the, uh, the goalkeepers' categories over the, the whole course of the season, and you were not even on the short list for the top keeper in the league. Does, does this contract sort of, you know, help, help to digest that, I guess? I mean, to be honest, I've never really been uh, extrinsically motivated, so... The things from the outside, um, whether that's you know what, what people think or uh, the financial stuff or any of that stuff, it, that's not what motivates me anyway. So I'm motivated to, to come in every day and, and, and work to, to be the best that I can be. And uh, it sounds a bit cliche, but it, it really is. And you know I think that um, you know the club has really noticed that, and you know, I think the staff, the the new staff this past year, has has realized that and. Uh, they want guys like that. They want guys that are going to come in every day and, and push the group and uh, lead the group. And um, I think that, you know, as I've grown into my position, uh, not only on the field, but off the field in the locker room and all those things, um, you know, that, that's what's really pushed me. And, uh, you know, for at times, you know, you would, you'd certainly like to have a little bit more um, uh, recognition for, for things like that. But I also understand we, we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, that's a big part. Um, I understand that we play in a market that a lot of the American media outlets kind of ignore, for better or worse, and, and that's how it is. So uh, just have to have an even better season next year and, and make them put me in there. How important were the re results uh, of the team in the second portion of, of uh, the year that just finished for you to, to convince you to stay here in Montreal? Yeah, I think that uh, if you look at the future, you, you can look at you know the past uh, four or five months of the season and and look at a lot of the good things that are happening. Um, you know, we brought in a, a lot of pieces. Uh, you know, we did bring in some older pieces that helped us along there, but it also showed the, the commitment to, to getting us back on the right track. And, you know, I think the staff reacted really well to, you know, the first three months not going, you know, very smoothly. They figured it out, and now we can go into this preseason in 2019 and, and really have an identity and, uh, and an idea of what we're trying to do as a team and as a club. And, uh, you know, I think that there should be a lot of confidence in what we're doing, but at the same time, and I mentioned this to, to someone yesterday that I was speaking to, that you know, going into next year, we can't be uh, overconfident because we had such a good second half of the season. Uh, we need to have you know, cautious optimism and, and continue to work hard because we saw in uh, what was it, 2017 that you know, coming off a good year in 2016 doesn't mean anything. Everything renews itself, and there's teams that are going to make a lot of changes, and uh, they're going to get better themselves, so we need to come in and we need to be ready to work. And uh, all the players that are coming back have an idea of you know what exactly to expect now. And what is your relation with uh, Joel Bassi a key factor for you to, to sign this contract? Yeah, I love Joel. I, I think he's he's fantastic. He was great to work with. Um, he was uh, you know different, obviously, than a lot of the people that have been here in the past. And he, he brought uh, kind of a calm confidence with him. Um, so from that standpoint, uh, you know, it, it was great to work with. I think that we 
we really mesh well together because it's it's not a lot of the hoopla. It's it's go into work and and do the right things and um, kind of you know forget everything else. And you know I think that that's what we needed as a group this past year, and uh, we're going to need that continuing on here. How important was this, like, other than the professional side for your family as well, considering your kids were both born here? Yeah. How much did that motivate you uh, going into negotiations? Yeah, it was big. You know, we have a third coming in January as well. So uh, we're really excited about that, that all three of them will be uh, Montrealers, um, all Canadian citizens now. So, um, you know, that was, they don't know anything other than Montreal. And I, and I, I mentioned that uh, at the end of the year. Uh, I spoke to the president uh, after I finished up the, the contract, and I said that to him, too. He asked if my family was happy, and I said, yeah, they're extremely happy because my kids, they, this is home for them. They, they've never known anything else. So, you know, when me and my wife uh, talk about Cleveland, they, they're not ex even excited to go back there, you know? We go back for the holidays and to visit family, and, and they're excited when they're here. I shouldn't say that because my, my parents will probably kill me if they hear that my kids aren't excited. They are excited to go back to Cleveland, but... Uh, they're, they're very happy to, uh, to stay here with their friends and, and what they're comfortable with. Um, they're in great schools, they have great relationships, and I, I think I mentioned it in uh, one of the press releases that, you know, it's the, the relationships that we've established outside of the club, in the community, um, in our neighborhood, stuff like that, played a big role in it. Because if, if my family wasn't happy and uh, content to be here, then it, it wouldn't have worked out. So. Uh, you know, that's, that's credit to the people that we've met and, and the people around the city for sure. If I take you back seven years ago when you got here in 2011, did it feel immediately like this could be home for a long time in Montreal? It, it just felt like you were, you know, you sort of fell into it and it was all right, but it was just me, you know? No, it's, I never expected it, yeah. you know, not at all. Um, yeah, first year, it, it's kind of been the, the story, the first five years really for me here four or five years where I came in that first year and Bill Gaudette was the goalkeeper. And if I never got a chance, if Bill didn't go down with an injury that year, I probably wouldn't have been around for the second year that I was here even. So um, things kind of worked out in, in kind of a weird way. Uh, and you have to be ready when, when those moments come and, and embrace the moment. And I've seen a lot of people uh, come to Montreal and play for the club. And, you know, it happens everywhere where guys aren't, content with their playing time, or they're not content with uh, their living situation or things like that. And um, they, they always think the grass is green or somewhere else. And very few times have I seen, you know, someone leave here and, and be very happy uh, with where they ended up. So it's always been my, uh, my goal to, to come in every day and, and continue in the way that I have and, and not take things for granted. And that's probably because of the, the beginnings that I had, you know, from out, out of college where uh, I wasn't, um, you know, a Zach Steffen that came in at 22 years old and, and was considered the future, or Bill Hamid and things like that. I, I had to continue to work and, and really be gracious and grateful for, for the opportunities that I had and not let them go. So, um, you know, I, I talked to schools around the area quite a bit about perseverance and, and dedication and discipline and those things. And uh, it's, it's words that I actually live by. And, you know, I, I really carry that message uh, close to my heart, and it's something that uh, I continue to, to hope to push on to my children also. Did you have a defining moment where you, you figured out that I'm a Montrealer now? Is this maybe when your uh, first uh, daughter was born? Honestly, no. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I can't really say. Maybe uh, I've always had a good relationship with the, the people in the club, and, and they've kind of embraced me and, and made me feel like I was part of, part of everything here. And, um, that kind of transmitted to, to the fan base and, and the people in the community. And, uh, you know, it's, I've just always felt like I've been accepted, uh, you know, where I've, where I've kind of fit in. So um, I don't know if there was one moment. Um, you know, uh, you can look at things on the field, but it's more so the stuff off the field that I probably would uh, point to. With your new deal now, uh, does your role as a leader change on this roster? Does what? Your role as a leader change on the roster? No, I don't think so. Um, I think that I was one of the predominant leaders already. Um, you know, I, I think myself, uh, Nacho, Sam Piet, uh, Safir, we were, we were really the, you know, the, the guys in the locker room last year from the start of the season to the finish of the season that 
uh, we're always there, always kind of directing things, uh, whether it's on the field, off the field, whatever it is. And, um, you know, I don't think that, you know, new contracts or anything like that determine who's a leader because we can have guys that are uh, on minimum salaries or a DP be the, the same type of leader. And, and really that's what you want uh, in any team, in any club. And, um, you know, I, I've tried to be the same leader since uh, my first day here. And uh, guys lead in different ways. You know, I, I think I've become more vocal over the years just because I've become more comfortable in my setting. But I've always led um, by example, I feel. Uh, off the field, um, doing the things in training, uh, all those types of ways uh, from day one. And, uh, you know, from, as Dave mentioned, uh, in 2011, um, I certainly wasn't uh, on, on a very good contract, that's for sure. Was there any angst of maybe going through free agency with your family of, of, the, of the unknown if this didn't come up for you? Yeah, there's always uh, angst of the unknown, especially with a kid coming uh, 10 days into the new year. So. Um, yeah, there was a little bit of that, but I was always very um, optimistic that something would happen, uh, and optimistic something would happen here. And, and if it wasn't here, uh, there was there was certainly going to be other options. But I really wanted to to make sure that uh, I pursued this, you know, first and foremost. And and uh, Montreal showed that they were in the same boat with that. So uh, we we came to to an agreement, you know, after a course of time and. Um, you know, for my wife, she would have hoped it was done much earlier, but, uh, you know, that's how, that's how families are, I suppose, and uh, she's, she's, she's very excited right now. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you.